Hi guys, Economics here once again just with a little quick video with regard to indifference curves and the fact that indifference curves they cannot intersect or certainly theory would suggest that they cannot intersect otherwise the whole theory of budget lines and indifference curves would typically start to fall apart. So why is that? Well, we assume that consumers prefer more to less. They enjoy consuming more goods and services rather than less. And so as we move outwards from the origin, the indifference curves that would be drawn would show a, an increasing level of consumer utility or an increasing level of consumer satisfaction. Now, take this diagram, which shows two indifference curves, IC1 and IC2, but they intersect at point Y. Now, what does this suggest to us? This suggests to us that the consumer, if we're operating on indifference curve 1, it suggests the consumer is indifferent between being able to consume Y, which is on this green line, and X, which is on the green line, which is, as theory would suggest, so the consumer, they'd be quite happy to be at X or Y because uh, they would be deriving the same level of satisfaction. And how do we know that? We know that because any point on the indifference curve 1 yields the same level of satisfaction. However, it also suggests, because the curves intersect, it also suggests that the consumer is also indifferent between Y and Z. So the consumer would be quite happy to consume Y or Z on indifference curve too. However, this violates uh, the assumption that the consumer en enjoys more to less because at point Z, the consumer, if they were consuming at point Z, they would be consuming more cola and more apples than they would be consuming at point X. And so this shows us that the curves cannot intersect because otherwise, if they didn't intersect, it would violate this assumption that we are making here that consumers always enjoy consuming more to less. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's it.